Um, I'm Rebecca Catlett, the Director of Marketing and Communications for Arctic Apples and Okanagan Specialty Fruits. So if you have not heard of Okanagan Specialty Fruits, we are the developer of Arctic Apples and we are one of the only apple companies that is vertically integrated. What that means is we control uh, the product all the way from research and development to marketing and sales. So that helps us with the quality and it also allows us to be a direct link to the consumer. So the consumers have a direct link to the grower, which is us. So, um, and hello everyone. Thank you. I appreciate you joining. And Leah, a big shout out to you and your team for putting all of this together. I appreciate it. And yes, please ask questions and I'll try to get to them as uh, I continue to talk. And if I don't get to them, please uh, contact me afterwards and we'll get in touch, okay? Thank you. So if you have not heard of Arctic Apples, um, we de de developed Arctic Apples as a solution to browning, browning that happens when you cut an apple or it gets bruised or exposed to air. And I'll talk a little bit more about the science um, behind that here in just a second. We're also proud that Arctic apples were, are grown specifically for fresh cut applications. So we don't use whole cast off apples for our slices. We grow them just for slicing. And for those apples that perhaps we need to find different, um, the size may not be right, we have developed at bits, our dried apple snacks. And at bits are 100% Arctic apples and it, um, they have no added ingredients. Someone's asked me what makes this the variety, what makes this variety of apples different from the others? It's because they don't brown and they have a shelf life that is much longer. And when you get the slices, they don't have a chemical aftertaste. And I'll get to that a little bit more here too and um, tell you more about the science behind them. So we have over 1300 acres where we grow our apples in Washington state and we, they are processed here in Idaho. We currently have uh, two varieties for sale, Arctic Granny and Arctic Golden. So I don't know if you can see these, but these are, these are the five ounce packages, which I find are perfect if you're like the, um, the parent that has to bring the snacks for the whole team. This is great to hand out one bag to each of the, each of the kids. They last forever. We also have a 10 ounce bag which is our larger bag. And then what's coming to market soon, which is perfect for schools and institutions, is our two ounce package. So again, the difference between these apples and other sliced apples you might find are these are, we, they're non-browning, so they don't have the chemical aftertaste when you open the bag or when you're tasting them. They have a superb flavor and they last for 28 days after they are sliced. So these packages, for instance, these were sliced about two weeks ago. And um, yeah, they're amazing. Uh, let's see, the science behind Arctic apples. Arctic apples are bioengineered. We have used the apple's own genes to turn off the enzyme that causes browning. What that means is, of course, you can set them out on a plate, you can, um, put them in dishes and they don't brown. So these, I don't know if you can see these. These I took out of the package, um, well now it's been about an hour. So you can see how well they do. Well, let's see. Sorry, I'm kind of uh, a little flustered here. What I also wanted to point out is during the, when we harvest the apples or when apples are harvested, they have to be pretty durable because they, they get bruised and they go through a lot. And we're actually going to be uh, publishing a video soon on that. But the point is that Arctic apples, because they don't brown when they get bruised, they, we don't have to throw so many apples away through harvest or through the whole supply chain. And I did want to do a quick quiz for everyone, see if you know, do you know how, what the percentage of apples is wasted due to superficial browning? Do you think it's 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%? It's 40% of apples are wasted. So that's uh, a lot of apples. So this is one of our solutions to that. 
Also, I wanted to remind you to complete the survey and get entered into a contest for some free swag. Jillian, you're right, 40%. <laughs> um, someone else asked me if they're only available pre-sliced. Yes, our apples are only available pre-sliced. Let's see, did I already get through everything? Does anyone have any, our, oh, let, let me say this. Our apples are 100%, they're just as healthy as conventional apples, just so you know. There must be a little delay here, but yes, everybody's guessing to the quiz. I appreciate that very much. Everybody's guessed pretty high, so it's no surprise then, I guess, to a lot of us that 40% are wasted. It is a lot of waste, for sure. Sorry, I'm reading the comments. And I see Leah just posted the link for the survey. So please complete that for us. And yeah, we'll, we'll put you in for a drawing for some free swag. Um, are these products available in the Northeast? Let, uh, right now, because of limited production, we did not, we do not have, we are kind of in limited um, distribution areas, but get in touch with me and I'll put you on the list to make sure that we um, can get you some slices. Someone asked me, how long did it take to get these bioengineered apples approved? Well, it's been in the making for 24 years. So it's taken quite a while, um, especially to get the first one, just because of obviously they're bioengineered. But um, it took a, we went through a lot of trials with uh, the FDA, USDA to get these on the market. So we're proud of that because it is one of the first bioengineered product to come to the market with a consumer trait. So our bioengineering wasn't, isn't directed towards growers only, it's directed towards consumers. Also, um, this year, though, we did have an astounding harvest. We have almost, I think it was, uh, let me see, sorry. Was it 13 million pounds of apples this year, which is our best harvest to date. So we'll have some more slices out in the market for everybody. Someone asked about um, what are we doing to make our products safer for COVID? And actually, um, because the slices come in pre-packaged, they're contact-free packaging. So really that, which we've always done. So we've heard that for COVID, a lot of people are appreciating that fact that things are pre-packaged and contact-free. Thank you for asking. Um, next week on our Facebook, on Arctic Apples Facebook, we will have a chef joining us who has worked with Arctic Apples and he'll be able to show you even more applications for Arctic apples. He wasn't able to join us today, so I hope you'll um, get on our Facebook page and watch for that event. And again, if you wanna email me, I can give you specifics on where they're available right at this moment. And then, um, you know, come fall, come the first part of the year, they'll be more widely available for sure. And yes, absolutely, the, uh, these apple slices are perfect for food service or for schools, institutions, because we, you know, like I said, we're coming out with a two ounce pack, we have the five ounce, and they're just a quick and easy, healthy snack, an on-the-go snack for children's, adults, they're perfect for that because, and you don't get the chemical aftertaste. So uh, that's the, the flavor is astounding. You can email me at uh, media at okspecialtyfruits.com or get in touch with Leah and she knows how to get a hold of me too. So for sure. Someone asked me, could this be done to other fruits like avocados? Well, we're not avocado growers, but I would assume that science, I'm sure science 
is there, but it takes a, like we said, it takes a long time to come to market for something like that. Do the apples bake the same as conventional apples? They absolutely do. And actually I have made apple butter with Arctic apples and I didn't have to add any sugar um, because they just hold their flavor so well. Um, someone asked me if there's any caloric or nutritional differences between these and non-bioengineered apple. No, there's no differences. They're just as healthy as the conventional apples. It's the flavor. And yes, thanks for reminding us. Do the survey. It's only 10 questions. Easy peasy. You'll get entered into a drawing for swag. Someone wants me to share my apple butter recipe. Okay, I'm one of those cooks that I kind of just throw stuff together. Um, and my kids hate that too because they're, my daughter is older and she's asking me for recipes. And I'm like, oh, I don't remember everything I put in there, but I'll try to remember. And we'll share it on our blog, on our Arctic Apples blog, for sure. What is the price difference between conventional apples and Arctic apples? Well, when we're talking, again, we're talking about slices. Um, the prices, the pricing varies, but again, you're getting more flavor and the product lot lasts longer. So it's almost, you know, it's 28 days from the time they're sliced. So you're not having to make as many trips and you'll have them a lot longer. Also, I wanted to make sure visit our website at arcticapples.com and all of our social media platforms we're, we're constantly posting and we love the feedback and we'd love to stay in touch so please do that someone asked me what vertically integrated means so i will um, tell you that again that it is means we handle the research and development of the product so we develop arctic apples and that we also get it through the process so we harvest we um, process, we pack, we ship, and we market. So we do everything from A to Z with the apples. How was the Arctic apple named? I love this question because our uh, founder and president, Neil Carter, he and his family were trying to think of a name for this unique product, something that would stand out. And they were thinking about the pristine glaciers, the Arctic. When you think of the Arctic, you know, it's just beautiful. So that is how Arctic apples came about. Thank you, that's a great question. One we get a lot, actually. Someone asked, how did we start this business? Well, our, our founder and president, Neil Carter, is a grower, and he could see that browning in apples was a, a challenge. And if he could bring a solution to that, he could see the less waste that that would cause throughout the supply chain. And so he got started on that and here we are 24 years later. So thank you, Neil. And all of the scientists, of course. Can we purchase the products online was, is another question. Not yet, but stay tuned. Um, no promises, but you never know. So again, uh, watch our Facebook, join or sign up for our newsletter. We'll keep you posted. We also, um, if you look at our website, you'll see other ways to use Arctic apples like charcuterie boards, um, fruit platters. There's so many ways to use Arctic apples where you might be afraid to put out apples on something because they would brown or you didn't want to have to add a bunch of preservatives where it would uh, uh, affect the flavor. We are going to be expanding to a new variety next year that'll be coming out, which is our first red variety, Arctic Fuji. Um, I have one of the apples here. It's beautiful, but again, you'll only be able to get it pre-sliced, but that's the best way to eat these, so. And yes, just pre-sliced. So um, I have, our corporate office is located in Summerland, British Columbia, 
and the apples are grown in Washington and processed in Idaho, and I am in Idaho myself. The other thing I thought I would point out too is we are 100% transparent that the fact the apples are bioengineered, so in all our packaging, of course, it says that even, I mean, even before the USDA came out with their labeling, we have been very transparent. And what we have learned through our consumer research is once we can explain the science, people aren't as afraid. I think there's just so much um, skepticism and lack of trust out there. But once we can explain it to them how we did this, that it was just by turning off the enzyme that causes browning, people are more accepting. And yes, when I say bioengineered, I do mean GMO. Yep. Um, Michelle asked me, would we ever expand into other fruits as well? Yes, we currently are working on other fruits. Um, there are a few years out, so I don't want to say too much at this point, but yes, we absolutely are looking at using this technology in other fruits for sure. Great question. Thank you. Um, someone asked me, what about the plastic waste of the pre-sliced products? Yes, I, I realize that, the, that they are in plastic bags. Plastic bags are recyclable, but we also have to keep in mind how much food waste we're saving or how much apple waste consumers can save by supporting Arctic apples. Are we concerned about the emissions released to, due to transportation? Well, I think that is a topic probably for another time, but obviously, you know, we're all concerned. And I appreciate everyone's patience again, and I'm sorry this has seemed so uh, disorganized because I was very organized this morning, I have to tell you, but uh, I have to hand it to the newscasters and everyone that does live TV. It's not as easy as it looks, for sure. Sorry, I'm reading the comments. Lots of them coming in. I love you guys. Thank you. Someone asked me, do I have to eat the entire bag at one time? Well, you certainly can. I wouldn't stop you. But you don't have to because they won't brown. So when you get the bag and you open it, you can uh, close it again and the apples will still be good. So again, I don't know if I can show you this or if you can see this, but these apples, I took them out of the bag. Now it's been about an hour and a half. And I don't know if you'd be able to hear this, but they're still just as crunchy. And I won't stick it in my mouth because I don't want to eat with my mouth full, but they are addictive. So to the person who asked me if they could eat a whole bag, you'll want to eat the whole bag, just saying. Are the bags resealable? These are not, but we are working on new packaging because we know that that is, uh, important, but um, not at the moment they're not, but just fold them down, clip it, and you got it, for sure. Someone asked me why it's important to talk to dietitians, because dietitians are our front line. I mean, you can help, uh, help not only Arctic apples, but any product that is bioengineered that there may be skepticism about. You can help us get that message out that these are safe and they're healthy and the taste, you can't beat the taste of the of Arctic apples, the pre-sliced apples. So I think it's really important that uh, we work with dietitians because you guys have so much influence and we appreciate the influence and you um, support the fact that apples are healthy, of course. And these are just as healthy as the conventional counterparts. They just taste a lot. Are the apples grown in just that one region? Yes, Washington State is one of the premier growing areas for apples because of the climate, so that's where we're located. And we have about 1,300 acres there. So we have a lot of trees. And I was hoping to do this live event from the orchard, but uh, fun, funny enough, I knew technology would be an issue up there. Didn't think it would be in my own house, but hey, who knows? So yes, only Washington State but that is the best area to grow apples here in the States.
Let's see, what else can we talk about? Let's see, we um, work with Leah quite a bit and Fancy. We appreciate that organization so much. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure. Someone's asking me if we can visit the orchard. We would love to get a visit set up and um, annually we try to do an event where we can bring some folks out to the orchards. Of course, with COVID, that kind of changed everything this year. So um, please contact me, I'll add you to our list. And when we can get an event together, maybe next year, who knows, right? Um, we can get some folks out to the orchards because it would uh, it's amazing to see the operation there because we also, um, our growing practices are also very sustainable. We make sure we don't waste any uh, resource. And it would be, uh, I would love to show it to everybody. Someone asked me, has COVID affected your business? Not really, because I think, as you've seen, our packages are contact-free. Um, the way it's affected our business, like it has with most people, is the face-to-face -face interaction. So that's been, we've all missed that. I mean, we can do it over the phone or over our over GoToMeeting or whatever. But I think the live interactions and actually having people sample the apple slices is very important. So we're kind of missing those kind of events where we could have done that for sure. And again, uh, I'll remind you too, don't forget the survey for some free swag. Uh, yes, would like to see sustainable practices, absolutely. And um, we are working on actual videos to show some of what we do ourselves to promote sustainability. Of course, just by developing Arctic apples, which is a sustainable product, that's a huge step. But it goes, you know, through the whole supply chain where Arctic apples can save um, apples being thrown away before they even get to the consumer. Someone's asking me, how can we contact you? Uh, you can either ask uh, Build Up Dietitians for my information or media at okspecialtyfruits.com or go to our website and there is a contact me or con want more info. Form. Absolutely, please. We'd love to hear from you. Um, someone's asked me to talk about the difference in flavor between Arctic and conventional apples. So Arctic apple slices versus conventional slices, they do not have the chemical aftertaste and they hold their flavor and appearance much longer. So they taste what I like to call like a home sliced apple. Whereas with some other pre-sliced apples, if you were to try them in compared to Arctic apples, you could really taste the chemical aftertaste. So these taste like you sliced them at home, but you get the convenience. So um, we like to say less prep, less labor, better taste, or less prep, less waste, better taste. How long does it take from planting to harvesting apples? When we plant a new tree, it typically takes two years for that tree to produce fruit. And each year as the tree matures, it will produce more fruit. So that's why like this year, our harvest is almost two times as much as last year because our trees are maturing. So it's exciting to see. So for instance, with Fuji coming out next year, you know, the trees are uh, the youngest trees. So we won't have a lot of production. It'll just be enough to get you interested. And then each year we'll be able to produce some more. And we also um, are working on Arctic Gala. That one um, is not going to be, we don't have a set date for commercial availability yet, but stay tuned because we hope to have some good news on that soon. Mm, let's see, what else can I tell you? You can't beat the flavor. Did I say that yet? If I didn't, I'll say it, I'll say it now. You can't beat the flavor of Arctic apples. And our website, yes, is arcticapples.com. And we just uh, updated our website. So take a look and let us know what you think of our new website. For sure, we would love that. Uh, Haley asked me, what has been the most rewarding part of this business? and or what is something valuable you've learned from this? The most rewarding part of this business is if you look at, um, excuse me, Okanagan Specialty Fruits, we are passionate about this product because of what it brings to the table, the sustainability, less waste. 
we're all about less waste, right? So if you were to talk to anyone within the organization, the passion, that's what I love about this. Um, we're all, we're just, I, passion is the best word I can come up with. And I love that about, uh, it's a community and we're excited to see it gain popularity. And I think that is the most rewarding thing because it's one of the first bioengineered products, again, like I said, to come out that is a, a bioengineered for a consumer trade. So we do have other products out there, not we, but you know, there's other vegetables and fruits that have our GMOs and their GMO is to the benefit of growers. And this is to the benefit of consumers and growers, but the benefit to us as the grower. But really it's a consumer trait, which is fantastic. And we, we love to see more products like that come to market and get the public more educated and less skeptical about GMOs for sure. Can they be used in baking, cooking, salads, and more? Yes, 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 they can, for sure. Um, yeah, there's nothing you can't do with an Arctic apple that you can do with, that you can't do with a conventional apple. Um, Alexis, what stores can I find Arctic apples in? Get in touch with me. You can go to that uh, contact form or where to buy form on our website, and we'll get we'll get you. Um, some more information. Why are the original Arctic apples Granny Smiths and Goldens? That's a great question. Well, as I said, it's been 24 years in the making. So if we think back to a long time ago, what were the most popular varieties? Golden Delicious and Grannies. So we started with Golden Delicious and Granny. And actually what we, Golden Delicious has kind of lost a little bit of its popularity, which is sad, but only because it's not as durable as other varieties. But Arctic Apples Golden Delicious, because it doesn't brown, is more durable. And it actually has a wonderful flavor. Um, I was comparing our red, our new uh, Fuji, to the Golden this morning, and they taste, they both taste terrific, but I'm still kind of partial to the Golden, but that's my opinion. So. I wouldn't shy away because they're golden and delicious apples. What methods are used to pick the apples? Great question. I was just up in our orchards a couple of weeks ago watching the harvest and it's amazing. And we actually did some video, so you'll be seeing some of that. But they're hand harvested. They're put into bins and then the bins are, the bins are about 950 pounds. Those are transported to our storage facility and sorted. And then when we're ready, we have them sent, shipped down to Idaho for processing, for slicing. Yes, it's all hand harvested and it's what I called a orchestrated, I don't know, it's hard to describe, but there was, there's people everywhere, but it's very organized and it's amazing to watch. And I hope we, we, sh we have captured it on video. So stay tuned because I'm actually working um, on that video right now to get it out to you. What are the price points? Um, I'm gonna say it depends, but uh, yeah, get in touch with us and we can discuss that, please. When you are, let me ask everybody a question. Um, when you are looking for apples, what are you looking for in your apple? Or is flavor the number one priority? Just curious. I think I can't tell I think it's been it's about time to wrap it up but um, yes thanks Sophie Susan taste flavor and texture flavor and crunchiness I love sweet apples well Arctic apples hit all of those so please keep them in mind um, if you're working with schools or institutions or retailers these are the perfect apple for convenience. And again, you're contributing to, to a sustainable, sustainable solution. So I hope uh, we can get that message out. Yes, cr fresh, crunchy apple. You gotta have the crunch. Absolutely, I agree. And texture, yep. Texture, yep. 
for sure. What causes some apples to have a sandy texture? Hmm. Uh, I would, I, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a, so I can only guess that probably it's the age, but don't quote me, please. All right, everyone, I think we're going to wrap it up. And again, thank you for your patience. And also thank you for allowing me to be so disorganized and uh, tripping over my words. I appreciate it. Um, maybe next time when we meet, which hopefully join, our, join us next week with our chef to see how he uses Arctic apples. He's not our chef, but he's a chef. But we look forward to seeing everybody on that. So get on our Facebook account and like us, follow us, and we'll stay in touch. Thanks, everyone, and thank you for all the questions. And please complete that survey so you get entered in for free swag. But more importantly, that survey will really give us a lot of information that we would really appreciate having. So bye, everyone. Good to see you.